So this, our farm, has been ravaged by ants, termites, and anthills. In fact, you guys can see an anthill over here. It's a huge anthill, and this is the story of the entire farm. Now, when I look around, I don't know if you guys can see them in the background, but when I look around, I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You guys may not be able to see it, but in this small space that you guys are seeing, I've already counted over 11 anthills. Meanwhile, you can see the calves over here. They're enjoying themselves. Oh! So I've counted already over 11 anthills in this place. And you know what that means? That's termites. There's a queen termite inside there that decided to put up an anthill over there. And there's soldiers serving them. But those anthills are a menace to this farm. Now, right now, I'm in a place which was a former paddock. You can see we've planted lots of maize in here. Lots of maize. Now, this place is really, really huge. This is probably close to between 20 and 30 acres over here, the where we've planted the maize. But before we planted the maize, in the dry season, this place had lots and lots of grass. I think it's what's leading to lots of weeds growing in here because there are some places in here that have terrible weeds. We've tried to weed some of these areas, but some of the places, the weeds are super strong. And those weeds are elephant grass mainly, which is consumed by the cattle. So now, before we grew the maize inside here, we had cattle being kept here. And we tried out using paddocks over here because before the farm was taken over, the previous owner just used to let the cows, you know, move all over the entire farm. So I wanted to keep the cattle in paddocks, and so we decided to build paddocks. And I know you guys can see, these are the remains of the paddocks. So we have a very long and straight line of these posts that we are using in this farm in order to put up the paddocks. So how we put up these posts was very, very simple. We just got wooden posts, you know, just wooden posts, cut them into short, you know, probably around four feet. And then we dug them into the ground, just put half a foot or one foot under the ground. And then we put a wire upon it. And then we electrified the wire. Very simple. Simply to keep the cattle inside and, you know, make sure they don't run out. We wanted to do some kind of rotational grazing for the paddocking. And now, where we are right now is a wetland. Lots of water settles here. Lots and lots of water. So I think because of that, termites never got to really like this place. Yeah. So our experience here didn't give us an idea of what could happen in the future. And the other thing is that we did a bit better over here. We put the posts in, but before we put the posts in, we surrounded them with a small layer of polythene because termites just don't buy it polythene. These, these posts are made from eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is a kind of tree. And termites love eucalyptus. Anywhere where you find eucalyptus, you'll find them biting. And it's because it's what's very easily and simply available for us that we chose eucalyptus. But because this place is a wetland, you don't have too many termites. Well, still you'll have an anthill or two over here, which I believe only thrives during the dry season. We have an extended dry season over here compared to other parts of Uganda. So we put the posts up and it's been quite a few months and the posts are actually still standing strong. And then we have this paddock, this one in here, it has its posts. For example, this one, I'll just slap it and it will, like, like seriously, can you imagine? Can you imagine? This is terrible. I honestly don't know what spirit fell upon us while we constructed this paddock. The one thing I'm certain about is that it wasn't a good one. I honestly don't know what happened to us because we built it in every wrong possible way now you guys might not notice but this paddock over here is literally built on one huge anthill now i'm seated on an anthill over here you guys can see it has some holes it probably collapsed due to the rain you know because of the holes that are maintained inside the anthills it's very easy for it to collapse in case heavy rain comes or something like that but we have so many anthills on this paddock so so many this paddock is certainly bigger than the one which is on the lower one the other one should be around maybe 24 
25 or 20 something acres. This one is certainly more than that, probably one and a half times the other one. And because of that, we have so many termites here. It's not something that we had identified, but we made a very huge mistake when we were putting up these posts for this paddock. If you look keenly at this post, it has nothing like a layer of polythene put under it. Now, when we were putting up these posts, we contemplated using concrete under, but then we thought it's too expensive. The length of this line alone on just one side is around 900 meters, almost close to a kilometer. So imagine have, having to put concrete in each of these posts. It would have become so expensive. So we decided we shall just use soil. But I imagine if we had even just added, you know, um, a layer of the polythene, it would have saved. But now I'm starting to think that with the amount of termites on this farm, even just putting that polythene would never have helped. Guys, the termites on this farm, they are the real deal. So now here we can see three posts, well not just three, around four or five posts that are completely offline. And all that is because of the termites. Like I could lift up this post. Seen this guys? Lifted up the post and I saw lots of termites under there. They are busy enjoying feeding on the post, feeding on, you know, the wood and the timber. It's just so sad. But why did we end up doing this? Guys, the whole idea of having these paddocks is that we were trying out a system. At some point after we had started putting them up, we noticed that, oh, I think we've made a mistake, you know. The termites are going to have us for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The ants are termites are so many in that every few minutes you're crossing a path with ants crossing the road, you know, carrying their food along with them, their teeth wide open, ready to pounce for anybody who steps on them. I think the bad experiences teach better than the good ones. Usually you never make that mistake again. We shall certainly not make this one again. So for now we need a solution for that. Of course, guys, it hasn't even been two months since we put up those posts. The termites don't joke. So the plan is that for the next paddocks that we're going to build, we're going to have to use the posts using concrete. By all means, there is no way we are going to be using wooden posts. Even if we were to put concrete under the ground, the termites will just move over the concrete and wherever they find the wood is where they shall start from. The termites on this farm are too much in that anytime a tree falls, any dry piece of timber that will fall down, they're going to come and consume it super, super quickly. So we're not going to be risking that. The other option is that we are thinking of using an excavator to dig up the ant hills. Now, I know there is more ant hills than we might actually be able to see on this farm. The ant hills are so many, they're certainly over 100, probably 200 or more. That's the one which you can see. For example, this tree, I'm certain it's built on an ant hill because it's raised higher than normal. This is certainly not normal. So, for the places around, we have so many ant hills. And there should be some kind of mother ant hills also around, you know, those ones where. They all come from to move to the different directions. We certainly wouldn't know which one that is. But we're thinking of digging them up using an excavator and then we pour some kind of insecticide in there to kill them all because there's no way we shall continue with this. You know, even if you plant crops, they won't come and choke on them. So what do you guys think? If you've probably had experience with this, with termites before, ants on your farm and you've dealt with them, how have you done it? Give me some ideas. I've certainly not faced it before. I'm going to probably be doing some Google and maybe some YouTube lessons if they are there. But I know you guys have, some of you have experienced this. Leave me with a solution in the comment section. I'll probably try it out. Otherwise, thanks guys for watching. Dr. Daniel over here. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, what are you waiting for? Just hit that subscribe button. Show me some love. Smash that notification bell. Lots of love. See you in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.